My name is Grace Randolph, and I love movies too. When it comes to picking your favorite movie, I don't think you can pick just one. I think you need to pick your top three to truly triangulate your profile as a moviegoer. And my top three are Rear Window, The Dark Knight, and Saving Mr. Banks. Rear Window, because it's the first film I appreciated not just as entertainment, but as a work of art. I wrote a paper on Rear Window in film school, and I still remember being so proud that I figured out that each apartment in the courtyard depicts a different romantic situation. Then, until The Dark Knight, people viewed comic books as something for kids or immature adults, which was not only untrue, but kind of offensive to comic book readers like myself. Then, Christopher Nolan comes along, not a comic book reader, and takes the source material as seriously as if you were adapting a novel or a play. The Dark Knight went on to become the first comic book movie to make a billion dollars at the box office and be a serious awards contender. If it wasn't for The Dark Knight, we wouldn't have movies like Mad Max Fury Road, my favorite movie for 2015. As for Saving Mr. Banks, that's a movie about two creative geniuses, Walt Disney and P.L. Travers, forced to compromise. The result being the movie Mary Poppins. Now, when I was little, my dad watched Mary Poppins like on a loop, and I couldn't understand why until I saw Saving Mr. Banks. And I realized that Mary Poppins is actually a movie about saving fathers who can also have a really rough time. And that movie helped my dad when he needed it. Rolling. Rear window, because it's the... Mm. Also, um, a little less purposeful with a turn. It's looking a little like movie villain. Mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah. Da, da. Yeah. A little Blofeld there. Mm. Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Bond, but you're not on my list. <laughs> <laughs>